Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my youtube channel biology articles and mcqs today we are here with a new video new topic that is excretion in planaria in the previous topic we have studied about the um, excretory system of human being today we are going to start excretion in planaria but first of all we uh, let us know that uh, what is planaria here, here you have a uh, 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 figure of planaria uh, the planaria is made of flat worm and it belongs to phylum pla platyhelminthes. As it is a flat worm and all the flat worms are aquatic uh, as uh, they live in the uh, in aquatic environment and that aquatic environment can be fresh water or as well as sea environment. Let us move towards the excretion in planaria that how the planaria excrete the metabolic waste or excrete, uh, excrete among, uh, uh, excess amount of water from your body. Here you have seen that uh, there is a planaria and the planaria have a tube-like structure on both sides of its body. These uh, this tube-like structure help in the excretion of metabolic waste or water from the body of planaria. The tubes that you are seeing here are mainly called protonephridia. And this protonephridial tubes or protonephridial type of system of excretion is, main, is mainly concerned with flat ones or the organisms that are, that are included in phylum platyhelminthes. So start that how this protonephridia is helping in the excretion of water from its body. Here you are seeing that in, first of all you have to remember that this is a single tube. They, these are not many tubes and they have the small branches here. Here these are the small branches of that single protonephridial tube. These branches have a small setup of cells uh, on the tip of these branches and these uh, small, um, um, small setup of cells are called flame cells you are seeing here. These flame cells are the main cells that is concerned with the excretion of water from the body of planaria. You can see here that these cells are in this way that uh, they have a nucleus and cytoplasm also. The nucleus and uh, there is a nucleus and a cytoplasm also. But uh, this nucleus and cytoplasm have not any much more connection with the excretion. The uh, part of the flame cells that have a connection with the excretion in planaria are cilia. These cilia will help in the excretion. First of all, uh, these cilia may beat or move and the uh, uh, water, excess amount of water that is present, for example here, excess amount of water along with the metabolic waste is present here. And uh, it will enter in the flame cell. And it will enter in the flame cell by the beating of this cilia. When the cilia beat, the uh, excess amount of water will enter in the cilia. And after entering into the cilia, it will then move out. Means ex um, the excess amount of water and metabolic waste um, will enter, move out from the body to the uh, uh, through the help of pores that are called nephridio pores. You can see the nephridio pores here. These are the nephridio pores. Means the uh, water is entering here in the cilia, uh, sorry, in the flame cells by the beating of, by the help of beating of cilia and after filtering of excess amount of water and the metabolic waste will move out from the body of the planaria by the help of these small pores that are nephridio pores. These are the small pores that are nephridio pores. In this way, they are moving uh, they, uh, their excess amount of water out from, here, uh, from their body. This is all the function of the protonephridia that is, uh, for, um, uh, and that is actually 
playing an important role in excretion in planaria but uh, one thing you know about, uh, you need to know about the flame cell that why these are called flame cells these are called flame cells because of the beating of the cilia these uh, cilia beat like a flickering flame therefore these cells are termed as flame cells you know that the flatworms are aquatic and they and they live in the fresh water environment or they can be live in the sea um, water in, uh, in the uh, salt water environment such as seas on the basis of which we will then uh, talk about that um, uh, either they are ammonotelic a ureotelic or uricotelic means either they are excreting ammonia or urea or a uric acid in the form um, uh, which form of nitrogenous waste they are excreting so uh, um, these are fresh water environment in uh, living in the fresh water environment and you know that the fresh water is rich uh, rich in uh, water and there is less amount of salts present in the fresh water environment so the excess amount of water that is present outside in their environment moves into the planarial body but uh, the planaria does not need this excess amount of water so it have to leave uh, the, uh, the body of the planaria so it is excrete it will excrete dilute urine dilute urine the dilute urine will be rich in amount of ammonia nh3 why it will be rich in uh, amount of ammonia because ammonia is a nitrogenous waste which uh, needs to uh, 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 which needs excess amount of water to uh, move out from the body and the uh, one gram of ammonia needs uh, you know that 500 ml of water to uh, to dilute it or to excrete uh, one gram of its nitrogen means about one uh, about 500 ml of water is needed to exceed 1 gram of ammonia nitrogen and uh, the fresh water um, and uh, these planaria are present in the fresh water environment and have excess amount of water there so they can easily excrete their um, uh, their nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia i hope you understand that uh, how the planaria is excreting the um, their metabolic waste out from the body in the um, and how protonephridia is helping uh, helping them and um, they are ammonotelic organisms because they are excreting ammonia from their body means they and they are excreting nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia if you like this video share this video with your friends thank you so much